Hi guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to go through the collector's edition of Cyclone. I have been waiting for this for so long. I am made up that Mattel Creations done this release. Didn't think we were ever going to see him though, to be fair. But then I was surprised when he come in this type of packaging as well in the whole big box, I suppose. With it, he was a bit more expensive than the usual type of figures. But with all the extra additional stuff that he's coming with. So I am pretty chuffed about the whole lot. The actual box art at the front. So you've got them there with um, the Horde Troopers. And you've got Hordak at the back there as well. Well, Hurricane Hordak. So we are still waiting for this guy to come along on the side you have got the fright zone snake there on the opposite side you have got more smashed up horde troopers and then on the back so you have got cyclone there with the actual big picture of the snake through fright zone you've got hordak at the top there looking down and then climbing up the cliff, you've also got Mossman. So no cross cells, just one big card art. Absolutely cracker if you are the collector of the arts on the back. I think the next one we are going to see from Mattel Creations is also going to be Extendar, I think. He might actually be, by the time I put this up online... He may be already that online exclusive. I also believe that at the end of the year of 24, we will end up seeing Night Stalker being on Mattel Creations as well. So again, keep an eye out for that one. But let's crack this guy open and take a little closer look. He comes with this little comic book, The Fog of War. So let's just have a little, quickly flick through. I mean, we already probably know what's coming out anyway, but usually they have a little nod to maybe a possible extra, what they haven't even shown before. But no, there's just Clam Champ, Teela, Manny Faces, E-Man, there's Extendar there. In the box, you have got this little thing going on. He also comes with his little yellow shield. And two of the cyclone parts that will be replacing his hands as well. But we will come back to all of them little bits at the moment. I mean, vibrant straight away. The vibrancy of him is absolutely stunning. So that blue and yellow with the pop of red. It is just superb. Now, yeah, he does come with the usual stuff like we've seen with the, all the Origins with the head popping off, the arm do pop off, his head pops off, and obviously his boot will pop off as well, like so. But I don't think the waist does. But articulation, you've just seen his head all bubbles up and down the arms do the 316 pop out he's got a bend at the actual elbow wrist waist legs splay out go back and forth and they've got the joint at the knee and the pivot ball at the actual foot as well the ankle so doing one of his features you just 
pull his waist up a touch and he's got that little spinny disc so let's splay his arms out a bit more and he's got that little spinner for that cyclone effect and he's got that venticular type of radar still on his chest just like the retro one and you can see just picking up on there beep 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 his little shield cast in bright yellow just got a little clipper for the actual arm so like so and then this thing it's got on his back it's got a little holder for this clasp so you could have it on just flat straight you could have it on going through also the middle of them there but there's also another clasp where you could have it going around his neck area you can flip it up even higher as well you could have it going the other way so it's just like the full circle and then like I say he's got these little tornado little clips that go replacing on his hands so just pop his hands off so there you've got one swooshing out there it's a shame you couldn't slip this over his hands so you could see his hand from the center there but if I just clip this shield off pop his other hands and then you could have his two tornado hands going on I don't know whether I like the two tornado hands and just have the actual one of it not too sure so let me know your thoughts on which one you would prefer do you like the both on or would it be good just having I think you could style it more with just the one and having his flat hand on and also his shield I mean I kind of like that one more and with the red ring clipping it from, from the top and having the open end round the back than round the top it's nothing what I've seen like on display but I think that looks a lot better but let me know your thoughts drop us those comments what style would you actually prefer while you're there dropping those comments do the usual with the like subscribe and tickle that little bell notification but thanks for checking in on this one and i will see you on the next take care guys